and uh, welcome back everybody to my new and latest video and it's I know it's been a while and uh, it's work and stuff catching up but I'm hoping now that I've managed to catch up and everything that I can start to uh, getting some more videos out uh, a lot sooner uh, but also I have been doing some testing and um, checking the updates so I don't know if any of you are aware, but Home Center 3 has had a big update. And so the current and latest update is the 5.110. And that now is the official update. And it has got what we call Zigbee support. So many of you, I don't know if you're aware, but this controller does have Bluetooth support and Zigbee support. And finally, after a couple of years of being out, we have Zigbee support enabled. What that means is things like the Philips Hue light or anything with Zigbee can now be integrated within the home center directly without the use of a hub. What does that mean? Well, that means things like, well, if you look here, I've got Hue lights. So these had to be integrated basically by communicating between the Philips Hue hub, which then communicates with my lights. So therefore, I'm introducing an extra hub for it to work. But now, when I get around to it, you can don't need to do that anymore. You actually can, using the Add Device option, so Settings, Devices, you can actually see up here as well. You've got the all Z-Wave, Nice, Elero, and Zigbee. So if I just click on Zigbee, Add, we can then just start adding and just like you would add the hue bulbs on the hub just by turning the power off on and putting the hub in pairing mode same process and it works and it works very well i have done a few houses and a few clients and we control the lights as though they were a native z-wave device so saving costs because we don't have to use the hub anymore direct communication so one less thing to go wrong, shall we say. The other advantage is it's not just Philips Hue that do Zigbee. We've got the IKEA system and there's a couple of other brands that do do Zigbee bulbs, whether they're white ambience or hue color and ambience lights. So it just means direct control and strip lights. So we're now got more options. Right now, unfortunately, it can only control lights, but hopefully, hopefully as the as they develop it further we should then be able to control um other zigbee devices for example the remote controls or what i'm really looking forward to are the sensors and right now there's not any decent outdoor motion detectors z-wave that are out there so we've had to find uh, you know workarounds um but philips who you do make some nice uh, robust outdoor sensors and uh, with that hopefully then we'll be able to use them outdoor integrate them within our home center and finally we'll have some uh, official proper outdoor motion sensors as well right so as part of that um, because we can now use these uh, Philips Hue and a lot of these are multicolored lights and multicolored light bulbs we need uh, in line with my series of creating quick apps for lighting i've now done one for rgbw lighting so here it is so let me just uh, as usual go to the web shop um it's only a fiver so a nominal amount it helps keep um, keep the affordability there and also it's uh, it keeps the uh, keeps the interest going and um, I can keep writing more and more quick apps. So as usual, click on settings, devices, add, other device and upload file, and then just uh, choose, the, choose the file, okay? Once it's added in, it's called RGBW lighting. This one is designed for one light. So one device, one light. So if you have multiple devices, you just in you just upload it multiple times and then of course you can just rename the, the device itself so i've just left it as a generic rgbw light 
Clicking on the, first of all, as usual, we always start with the variables. And inside the variables, you will put the ID of your lighting. So that's the ID of my device. Ignore, you don't touch, to be honest with you, then you don't need to touch anything else. Okay. As uh, to make it easier for everybody, by clicking, flicking this switch here, you can enable these icons, by the way, are also included in the uh, quick app. So you can just add them to your system. So it looks like that. So it just looks like a Philips Hue type light. Okay. If you keep this switch flicked on, and if you look at the variables, the timer now is on. And if I click it off, if you look at variables, timer is off. So that's a way to enable and disable this timer. All right. So if you only want to use it certain times of the year or you something's gone wrong with the bulb or whatever reason, you need to just disable it for a little bit. You don't need to delete it. You just disable it by clicking it off, just like all my other uh, quick apps. All right. Click on edit and variable preview. Sorry. These are the direct buttons. So if um, to turn the lamp uh, on and off. So what I'm going to do is if I click on dashboard new tab. Let me just rearrange the screen a little bit like uh, that and that. Just do that there and let me go to the relevant room. So that's master bedroom, master lamp. And if I just move that here so you can see it. I should have been more prepared, but I hope. So I can click on turn on. And as you can see, it's turned on here. So if I just make that there, so you can see it a bit more clearly. So when I turn it on, it'll just turn it on to the last set level. And when I click it off, it'll switch it off to the, to the, to, as it is. If I, t I can then turn it on from here, I can then set a color, whatever color I want, whatever brightness I want. Um, and then I say, right, you know what? I kind of like that. So what we'll do, I just want to show you this first. Those were my previous preset values uh, of the color that I liked. So I like this color now. So all I'm going to do is hit read. So rather than you faffing around trying to work out what the numbers are of the lights and the settings and everything, you just use your app, whether it's the Philips Hue app, whether because it was a Philips Hue bulb or using Fibaro itself to create the colors, do that hit read, and what that does is it changes the numbers here to the new settings, all right? Then, if I switch it off, and actually that's just to put that to yellow, and let's put that down and turn it off. So now, all we do, so whenever I turn it on, sorry, when uh, that just turns it on to the previous level. So now what we're gonna do is set the time and what happens is on time and off time. On time is uh, an offset of sunset. And on, on time is an offset of sunset. And off time is an offset of sunrise. And then you can just use these to change the um, timings. Okay, let's just turn that off again. In fact, if I just do that and then turn it on, it sets it back to the level that we preset in the um, in the Fibaro, you know, in this in this variables at this level. Okay, um, I'm digressing again. So on time and off time is just like all the previous um, quick apps I've written. You do an on time, do an off time. It's like I said before, it's based on sunset and sunrise. And that's it. Then you can just turn it um, automated lighting. Okay. And that's it. So again, in the shop for a fiver and that's it. That's all you need. And then every time you want to change the um, color changes, you just uh, go to the app itself, change the colors, make sure you read it. Once you've read it, it will then store that for future reference. In between, if you do change it manually which you can do you know whatever you want uh, whatever color you want 
as long until this timer kicks in or until you use these controls it will always remain in this site so off on always the same okay always the same until we do this if i click on again see that it then switches it to the uh, to the preset color uh, any questions as usual message me um and that's it so again thank you all very much for watching thank you for subscribing make sure you hit the bell button for subscriptions and a like if you like this video and if you don't like it okay you can click the dislike uh, but just you know give me some feedback um uh, that's it for now and uh, i'll speak to you guys in the uh, in the next video bye for now